Hey guys, welcome back to your 11th video on Introduction to JavaScript. And before we move on to loops and functions, I want to talk about else if conditional statements. And else if are a lot like if else statement, but for else if statements, we can have more than two outcomes. We could actually have as many outcomes as we want. Let me go ahead and show you an example of what I'm talking about. So say back up here in our HTML, we wanted to write a program where we ask somebody a joke or something. So we'll say, what do you call an alligator wearing a vest? Question mark. And I'll give it a break tag. So it drops down uh, on the line underneath this. And let's go ahead and create our program. So I'll call this joke, and I'll set our joke equal to in investigator because that's the answer I think that's pretty funny what do you call an alligator wearing a vest an investigator yeah 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 okay so let's go ahead and run our else if statement so let's go ahead and give it the first condition we'll say if joke is equal to investigator and it is and this time we're using a string to test our true or false condition before we've just been using integers excuse me so here, this is true. So joke equals investigator. So let's go ahead and give it or execute an outcome, and we'll call it document right, and we will call it an investigator, and we'll close that out. And now here's the difference between an else if and an if else. So before we would just type else and give it another you know, the default, um, you know, false, the default false. Like if this didn't go through the first time, it was just going to spit this back by the false. But with an else if statement, we can go ahead and give it another condition. So we'll say if joke is equal to, I don't know, a good looking crocodile, which is obviously wrong because joke equals investigator. It doesn't equal a good looking crocodile. Well, let's go ahead and hold on, I got a phone call. Let me pause this video. Sorry about that. Actually, no, there's no semicolon right here. We need to go ahead and give it the curly braces so we can execute a command or whatever we want to do. And we'll just go with document right because it's been working pretty darn well for us. And we'll say a good looking crocodile exclamation 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 and we'll close that out and now we'll give it the default else the false else and it is right nope wrong ones parentheses and we'll just say I have no idea I have no idea what the answer is to your joke now let's go ahead and save it and let's reload it in our browser and there it is. What do you call an alligator wearing a vest? An investigator. But say that we spelled investigator wrong or we had any other answer in here besides exactly this. We'll just take out the G. Now it should spit out, I have no idea. I have no idea. There it is. Okay, so keep in mind that we could have as many else ifs as we want. We could just go ahead and keep creating... Um, else ifs and keep on giving it more conditions and yada yada else if down here so that's it after this video we're going to jump into something completely different and hopefully you guys are following along and having a good time with this and uh, again yeah let me know if you guys have any questions or uh, comments and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video all right